Welcome to Scream Queens Season 1, Episode 6, Thoughts, 7 Minutes in Hell. So, the, yeah, very nicely done with the close-ups for the voting sequence. And I quite enjoyed Jennifer's monologue, though, I hate to be a spoiled sport, she is not, it is not accurate that the autism spectrum was, like, just invented for profit. There is merit to it. I really enjoyed Chanel number one going over whose fault this is. And the thing with, you know, was it? let's see. Yes, she says something like, you know, she, yeah, Chanel number one says something like, that's, you know, something, you know, farty candle wax, and Grace tries to be supportive. That's not Farty's fault. <laughs> That's so bad. And, yeah, Chanel throws a fake fit and explains through, you know, she's been watching mafia documentaries, and, and I mean, there is some truth to it. It's very dangerous to be leader in a, you know, yeah in an extreme time. And they they say that the reason that Billy Lord has been hanging out with Sam is because she thinks that Sam knows martial arts. That's so bad. And I really like the thing about, you know, in case of a nuclear war, they have a massive storage of like tampons or just yeah and yeah so they come up with the slumber party plan I really enjoyed this argument about you know Chanel is like slumber party no we're not 10 and you know Zayde and Grace are like truth or dare that's how we get to, to which you know certainly by the end of this episode if if a Kappa isn't one of the Red Devils, you know, certainly working with... Oh, wait, yeah, I guess, ah, the, the, because I was thinking the tunnel, but I guess that's Gigi, who we know is working with the Red Devils, possibly is one of the Red Devils, unclear. And, you know, which I'm not, I'm not complaining about it being unclear. The, the season hasn't ended yet. Meanwhile, you know... Billy Lord just wants to spin the bottle because she's thinking this is the only way I'm going to get to, you know, and, and Zayde keeps saying someone's going to go lesbian. <clears throat> and let's see the, um, oh, right, right, yeah, I like when, when Jennifer had to be reminded to to vote because it's like oh right i'm on their side you know so it's like hmm. Ooh. you know just yeah and the 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 now armless i think the character is caulfield you know he's what was it 40 it took him 45 seconds to down like a ton of pasta and turns out he can still raise not quite his arm but his shoulder to vote and they confront Chad about how he's having sex with you know people that are older than him it's, yeah that was that was funny and <laughs> I really like the, the, you know, the spin the bottle, like, the rules go out the window immediately, like, okay, uh, you will kiss, you know, in, instead of me, new rule, you can respin, you know, just, I was a little surprised that the first respin got her a kiss with Sam, I, I thought that they were gonna drag that out further, but yeah, not complaining, but yeah, so the, the, then you have the, but, but yeah, you know, you taste like candle wax. You taste good too. I don't think they meant good. <laughs> and let's see. 
Um, hmm. What's that? Um, okay, I'm not entirely sure what. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. The the um, the um, wait, was that? No, yeah, that's later. Yeah, the the um, yeah. So Billy and Sam kiss, and they're making you know. They're using packing peanuts for the thing. You know, I don't think that's healthy. Uh, yeah, it is. Cuts the calorie intake d down significantly. You know. And yeah, real. They all realize the the whole place is locked, and <laughs> the entire house is one big panic room. That like Chad and Chanel were watching Panic Room, and Chad was like, "Oh, you need a panic room," which again is like. That's a red flag. Don't don't say that to your partner. Don't tell them that they're probably going to need. Oh my god! But yeah, this... <laughs> I mean, sometimes what, what you know, Chad Radwell, broken clock theory. And I really like when you know she calls him and the thing of you know, oh, the, it's the only phone that that works because it's a satellite phone. I do. I'm not, yeah, this was back when, you know, she says, oh, Elon Musk made it. This was back when people still, you know, certainly it's a joke in part at Elon Musk's expense, but it is still like, this was back when people thought he wasn't a complete idiot who has no idea how anything works. You know, this is, this is years before he bought Twitter at a huge loss and then broke it. You know, the, the, so, so yeah, but... Yeah, satellite phone, she calls Chad, and he keeps referring to himself in third person, which, like, just, yeah, such a douche. And I, I appreciate, you know, when he when he fires up his music, you know, that it actually, the playlist is called Douche. You know, he, he realizes that. Let's see, and... Um, yeah, you know, he'll be her hero, but he will not commit, like... She's like, if if you break the glass and come in, you know, we could be together. And he's like, I don't know. Amazing. Like, even in that situation, he's still commitment phobic. And he, in, in just a few seconds, he manages to toss away the bat and the only working phone. Like, he is this, yeah, slasher movie satire. You know, this is, this is. I'm not sure I've seen anyone be quite that stupid in throwing away like such useful things, but certainly it's it's slasher character slasher movie character stupidity stupidity we're seeing. Holy crap. And yeah, Caulfield dies, and that was also like, of course they're gonna make a joke about you know, they, they made a joke about how he's struggling to get to get over the wall. To, to near Kappa Kappa Tau house, but then they all, you know, he's also struggling to get up the ladder, because part of climbing a ladder fast, you know, you would expect, you know, arms and hands make that easier, and let's see, yeah, and, and, you know, well, the only, the only way for him to maintain his dignity is for us to watch him die, and, you know, he takes an axe to the chest, and I like, you know, Chad's like, He's not gone yet. Oh, okay. Head, heads off. That's gonna. That'll do it. And I realize it would have been very difficult for them to do the the head as a practical effect. It really didn't look like. Maybe I think the the axe to the chest might have been a practical effect. Let's see. And <laughs> I really, really loved Jennifer and Chad like talking about. Wouldn't you know? Could wouldn't you just lie during a game of of truth or dare? And he just he gets so so upset at her saying you know you can you can just lie and he just that was really really funny. Just like the rules of the game are very simple. It's not called truth, dare, or lie. Okay, just, <laughs> like he doesn't he doesn't understand that she's saying hypothetically someone could lie he's like but that's against the rules it's <laughs> really really funny and 
Chanel number one is just 100% convinced that Breslin has vaginal teeth. As like you know, do you have vaginal teeth? No. Okay, let me rephrase my question. Do you still have vaginal teeth? And then you know, it's like, oh no, huh? Well, does that mean that you used to have them, but you have them removed, or are you saying you didn't have them removed? Just And also, like, the way she answers, like, <laughs> it makes her sound a little like, wait, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, it's just, vaginal teeth, it's, that's a complete, you know, it's a myth. It's, you know, but, like, the way she answers, like, does she? Because, like, the, <laughs> so there's just, yeah, that was, that was very funny. <laughs> and because... Billy Lord is so convinced that Sam is going to tell everyone that, you know, that there's feelings there. <laughs> she blurts out that she has feelings for her as Sam tells them, you know, about the Manson relation. And it is like, I mean, <laughs> they were playing truth or dare, you know, she was asked, so, yeah. But it is obviously a betrayal of trust. And the the dance break was funny and so yeah, Sam has to go to the the tub and which is also it's interesting, they they go over multiple times. If you say dare, you must be lying. And Sam I don't think she even like hesitates, she just immediately says dare. You know, so I guess maybe there was something that she was hiding. Though her death really makes it seem like she wasn't... Although they did the same thing with Boone. That also seemed like... Yeah, I, you know, maybe the... the Like, you know, it would not be the first time that a slasher killer turned around and killed someone they were working with. So... But, but yeah, you know, goes to the tub, finds blood there, and, yeah, the, the, gets put in the tub, and, you know, realizes that she knows, you know, I knew it was you, remember? I accused you. And, let's see, right, and Hester, you know, Chad is tell, talking to Hester, and is like, I know that, you know, you're probably great to have sex with because you're so crazy, but I like my penis. Wow. And, you know, she's like, I never take second place, and I always, I don't stop until I get what I want, you know. And, yeah, so they, they're going to play Seven Minutes in Heaven, which is, of course, where the, the episode gets its title. Seven minutes in hell, and <clears throat> the you know Chad is talking about the things he likes about Chanel, and it's like, wow, you're super rich, you're really gullible, which is wow. And you know later on when when she says I love you, he's like, you're rich and you're hot, you know. So and. Yeah, he does ultimately agree to be monogamous, and they find Sam dead, and yeah, I mean, the idea that it's Hester, kind of, you know, she was the one who happened to find her, that's a really great way to get, you know, and I think it was Grace who pointed out, you know, we were all together, so... It can't have been any of us, you know, so, just, yeah. And <laughs> Abigail Breslin and Ro uh, Roger, yeah, are, you know, <laughs> like, they're, they're making out, and then... <clears throat> <clears throat> that also brings up, you know, why didn't Red Devil... Like, he, he didn't even hurt Abigail Breslin, but I guess maybe that's to... To make it seem like she might be, you know, working with, but, but yeah, the, the, um, ah, it's 
right on the tip of my tongue. The the yes, you know, he's he's like I'm so glad he talks about being glad that his brother is dead because they've never been apart before. But they had this cool clicking language. Now they can't use them. Okay. One click means hello. Two means this ice cream is delicious. Wow. I really love that they jumped from hello to this ice cream is delicious. I mean, obviously it's a very important thing to say. You know, I, I I feel like that should be the, the, the one thing that everybody knows in Spanish instead of where's the library, but, you know. Let's see. But, but yeah, you know, he gets shot with a nail gun, and I really love, you know, at first it's just one shot, and it's like, oh, he's dead. Oh, okay, another one, I guess you want to be sure. And then, like, he just empties the, he's like, he's, it's like, a, like it's an Uzi or something, just you know, firing as many nails into Roger's dying or already dead body as at all possible. And then, you know, we see the, the body and he looks like Pinhead. And they do like a musical sting thing. Was that a Hellraiser sting? I mean, it, offhand it reminded me more of Nightmare on Elm Street, but maybe it's... Yeah, I, I don't know. Amazing music in the first Hellraiser movie. And we see, you know, there's a tunnel, and that's how she, you know, yeah, how the Red Devil got in, even though the door was locked. And I really loved when when Chanel Number One explains about the former president. So so bad, so offensive. And Zayde is attacked, but Chanel Number One saves her. It's like. Just because if I want to survive, I need numbers on my side. And Breslin and, and Billy Lord talk about their loved ones dying and this honestly when when she said when when Billy Lord's character said, I um the next time I fall in love with someone I'll tell them so that they don't die just so they don't die before I say it. And I, I honestly thought that right after that she would say, I love you to Abigail Breslin, but yeah. Let's see. And <laughs> Chanel number one gives all of them pink nunchucks, and the cop is still pretty useless. And Wes is, th there's still that thing of like, you know, could he be working with. You know, I mean, hypothetically, if he were the killer or working with the killer, he kills. Let's see. Yeah, he kills. He kills two of the of the frat boys because he doesn't trust frat boys around his daughter. He attacks Zayde. Maybe he thinks, you know, if she dies, Grace will come back. You know, so so there is some chance there, and he could have been told about the tunnel by Gigi. You know, so so just yeah, and we get another dance break, and the we see that the Red Devil is watching them. Just yeah, so ah crap, I think I forgot to say at the at the top, but yeah, another episode I absolutely loved, and. Yeah, there's also, you know, there's some chance it was Pete who was studying, you know, right. Nobody does that in college. So, so yeah, really, really psyched to, to yeah. Next episode, I will probably cover Thursday of next week. So, but yeah, there will be more episodes over the course of this week. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna do one tomorrow. Did I say episodes? I meant vlogs. I might do. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll. It'll. It'll. I. I may not have enough time. I have a bunch of stuff I have to do tomorrow. But Thursday definitely should be. Uh, you know, that's actually why I did this today instead of Thursday, so that Thursday wouldn't. It, it looks like there might be two. Well, yeah. 
Um, I intend to do an episode, yeah, video on the most recent episode of The Clearing and True Lies. So, yeah. That is it for this one. Bye.